first off, I want to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhadash. Rakhadah Yahweh, Rakhadah Yahweh, Rakhadah Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. That's right. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's Son, the Son of Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's right. We want to give double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings go to the hopeful elect. Brothers that are out in the highways pushing his word and his truth, his sincerity. All right, we're out here another week. Today, we're going to go into be not like our forefathers in the wilderness, all right, that doubted the Most High, that, that murmured against the Most High, that tempted, tempted the Most High, not knowing that all that, when the Lord was bringing them through, through the wilderness, was a way of proving them, all right, because the Lord was sending them to the promised land, all right, and the Lord doesn't just give you, give you, Give you the promise and try it first. All right, and this is what we're going through right now. All right, because we're about to receive the kingdom. But like it's written in Acts uh, 14 and 22, uh, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. All right, and uh, keep, uh, I know I said to start off with Deuteronomy, but can you get with Romans 15 and 4? Gotcha. It says everything written four times. All right, because we got scriptures, therefore, our learning. All right, and we can't be like our forefathers, man, doubting, you know murmuring against the most high yep. we got to have our complete faith and our complete trust in how bless him how shy man because in the scriptures it says that the lord is not a man that he should lie so he said that he's going to deliver us in the time of trouble so we just got to trust in his word and believe in it that's right bro this is uh romans 15 and 4 but whatsoever things were written a fourth time was written for our learning right it was written for our learning all right go ahead that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, because this is what comforts us. That's right. Knowing that in desired times, you have stories like Daniel in the lion's den, all right, how he got delivered from the from, 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 from lions, from the mouth of lions. Three holy children. That's right, the three holy children when yeah. they were put in the fire. Yahweh Shai came and, and delivered them from that fire. All these things were written for our learning to build up our faith, man. All right, go ahead. Oh, that was it. Oh, that was it. No, yeah. let's go for it. Okay. It says, now the power of patience. Oh, no, no, no. No, okay. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, now where there's hope, there is faith. Where there's faith, miracles can happen. That's it. In these last days, expect miracles to happen, man. Because in the wilderness when the Lord delivered all of our people out of Egypt. The Lord was showing nothing but miracles. Go ahead, you can walk through. Oh, okay. All right, the Lord was showing nothing but miracles. And what ended up happening, our people still doubted. Our people still didn't want to believe. They still wanted to go back into Egypt, man. After seeing the, the Lord drown all the Egyptians, man. After crossing the, the, the Gulf of Suez, yeah, which man. is part of the Red Sea, they still doubted, man. After all right? having that chair, you know, guiding. Right, which was the pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. All right, they still doubted. All right, we can't doubt because in these last days, the Lord is going to show us miracles. All right, he's going to, he, we're going to be put into certain situations where it's, it's going to be, where, we think we're, where we're going to think we're going to die, but the Lord is going to deliver us at the last moment, man. We just got to have faith and never, and, and not, not, um, and not give up on our Lord, man. Set, not, bro. not stop believing. Always believe, man, even in the matter of death. Yeah, All right. I got, I got a yeah, I'm I got trying to say too. Uh, All right, we got uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16 Thus saith the Lord Stand ye in the ways and see And ask for the old paths Where is the good way And walk therein And ye shall find rest for your souls But they said we will not walk therein Yeah in our ancient forefathers They said they weren't going to walk therein man. They didn't have that faith man. Right. So you got to you know, ask for those old paths Which is the scriptures Which is his truth, his word you know, And then your soul will be at rest You know because the Lord, he gave us the way how to remain in that land. All we have to do is keep the laws, which our forefathers never did, man. All right? And that's why the Lord ultimately scouted us. He kept us both the north. He started with the northern kingdom. All right? He used Shalemanezor V, the Syrian Empire, to take away the northern kingdom. And he put the, um, the, the Cushites, the Ethiopians, on our land. All right? Then the Lord used the Babylonians to take out the southern kingdom. But then they came back into their land. And then, you know, which we had a 78 D. Roman persecution, where the southern king had to flee to, to Africa, all right, there's different parts of Africa and, and, Europe. and around the world, all right, to flee from the Roman persecution. So ultimately, the Lord scouted us because we did not keep the laws, man, all right? I got a scripture out. 
Going back to have the faith. This is uh, Mark 5 and 36. As soon as Yahweh heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. You know, so we're not to be afraid in this time, man. The Lord is with us, look what we're doing. You know? The only thing we have to only one we have to fear is Yahweh Shah, man. Right. We can't fear the judgments because at the end of the day, the plagues that the Lord is bringing is not for us. That's right, man. All right. Yeah, that's right. 40. Nice. All right, these are just like in the ancient world, right? Back in ancient times, when our people were in Egypt, the Lord brought plagues upon the Egyptians, right? And our people, we witnessed those plagues. All right, we witnessed all the plagues that the Egyptians were suffering. Those plagues didn't come upon them; they just came upon the Egyptians. All right, that's why the, the last plague was the death of the firstborn, which the Lord told. You know, Moses to tell his people to write the blood, the, the blood of the lamb on your doorpost. So yeah. the death angel, which was Yahweh Shai, when he saw that blood passed over. All right, yeah. so that's why we had the Passover. All right, because we had to eat it in haste. There was no time to party and bush like you have other camps that want to do in the Passover. All Psalm, right, Psalm it, was, it, was a, it was a very serious, serious time, man. People were dying while while we were eating. And that's All right? the, and that's the uh, that was the last play. Right. You know, the, 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 the slaying of the firstborn of all creatures of the Egyptians. Um, but it was it was, ten, it was nine prior plagues yep. that we got to witness, man. And, 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 and the Lord's bringing, those, bringing these plagues upon the world. All right, he's just saving this place from bad. All right, just like how the plagues came upon the Egyptians and not our people, the plagues in this time are going to come upon the wicked of our people, yep. not in the elect. Because we're going to be in the midst of all this, man. Yep. We're not going to be above in heaven witnessing. Yep. No, we're going to be in the midst of Jacob's trouble. We're going to be in the midst of famine. Yep. We're going to be in the midst of the sword, the yep. war that's going on, man. But the thing is, the Lord's going to deliver us, man. All right? You got it. You got it. But the scripture saying, the scripture saying, only with thine eyes shall thou uh, uh, witness, you know, see the reward of the wicked, man. The wicked, man. All right, because these people, they chose it to enjoy sin for a season. All right, we choose to put off this life, man. All right, to give up everything that we have for the Lord. Wait. So the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 40, verse 9. It says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribul tribulation. And all these things are going to come upon the wicked of our people. These are the plagues that the Lord is going to bring. These different type of plagues that the Lord is going to bring upon the wicked of our people that refuse to repent. Yeah. All right? They refuse to get right with the Lord. Go ahead. It says, sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and scourge. These things are created for the wicked, Woo! and for their sakes came the flood. This is why all these things are coming, for their sakes. Because this is what the wicked, this is what this is the reward of the wicked. This is what that's they're going to receive for choosing to be of this world, man. That's right. Yeah. For not repenting. This is what they're going to, that's, that's, this is what they're going to receive. Yep. They're going to receive death, bloodshed, strife, famine, scourge. You have certain jakes. That their judgment is to die of famine, which that's not a, 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 a easy way out. That's a slow, that's a slow day. agonizing death. Right. Then you got Jake that's gonna, you know, die of the sword. He can get gunned down, beaten, beaten to death. All right. But like the scripture says, he's gonna die of the sword. Then a famine. Then a famine. All right. But either, either, either judgment's bad either way. Yeah. yeah the scripture says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the heavenly Father, man. Right. He can make it so you uh, make it all the way to the when the nukes hit this place, yeah. all right? You see your family get tortured, you lose everything on this side, or only to ultimately get punished, you know, when that last plague comes here. Or you can die by the sword, the yeah. famine, the pestilence. Right before the missiles come, the Lord puts the spirit back in your body, you come out from the ground just, just to be burnt to death, man. Mm. This is why it's a fearful thing that the brother said to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai. The Lord could do stuff like that, happy before. Yeah, we all know right? all, the, all the ones that received that mark. You're gonna be uh, destroyed by that nuke, the nukes, man. Yeah. I got a precept though. This is uh, Second Edges 15 and 4. It says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." Right. You know, all the unfaithful are gonna die in their unfaithfulness. And, the, and our people, they don't believe the words that we're bringing on to them, the message that we're bringing on to them from the out bushing the outside. They don't want to believe. All right. They're, they're, they're so caught up in this world. They don't. They, they can't see. What's about to get, what's getting ready to happen, man? This is why at the end of the day, we can't be moved to be troubled by the thoughts or opinions about us. Because at the end of the day, they're going to fucking die. Yeah, fuck Yeah, that's right. Hebrews 2. 
be at verse 6 well, Mashiach has a son over his own house whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end yeah we gotta hold we gotta hold on hold on just like how hold on to our faith in Yahweh question outside just like how Jacob hold on to that angel for his blessing yeah, like that Song. Hold on, I know you know Shemai. Hold on <laughs> to your love. Yeah, you gotta hold, gotta on, hold man. on, man. Yep, yep. You can't let go. In Romans 8 says, what's going to separate us from the love that we have with Yahweh Shah? Yep. Tribulation, persecution. Yep. Nothing, should, nothing should separate us from the love that we have with Yahweh Shah. We should continue to hold on even on to death. We got to have our heads cut off. Scripture saying, none shall pluck them out of my father's hand. Know, so if the most high is if giving you that faith, it's gonna say being rooted and established in the faith. You know, when you establish, you're fixed. It ain't moving, you know. Like this tree is fixed, you know? It ain't moving. Oh, yeah, that's in the book of uh, Corinthians, right? To be steadfast and unmovable, like that's the right, brother's faith. Right. Like your like so like, like the brother saying, your faith, you know, is not gonna move. So stay. Yep. All right, you're gonna it's not what's coming man we're not gonna be like these people bugging out losing their minds yeah why you think when he why you think the house shy said this when i come when he comes shy find faith on earth because right. a lot of people that say they believe in the outside they're not gonna believe in him man because they don't they're not understanding that his will they, yeah, they're not understanding his will that yeah. to bring judgment so these people when they see they witness their families die their wives get ravaged their children be dashed to pieces and they're calling on god to save them but nothing you know, most sides not hearing them. They gonna just give up, give up their faith. They gonna curse the Lord, right? Yeah. Yep. What's that scripture you brought out, bro? A while back, when we was way over there. Uh, here you go, I got it. This is a. Uh, oh no, it's not. Dang. Which one? It was a uh, evil men understand not judgment. Oh, uh, I saw it. Uh, uh, Proverbs 28. Oh, here you go. 28 to 5. Proverbs 28 to 5. Evil men understand not judgment. Right, and that's what a lot of you people are. You're evil. You're wicked. And you don't understand the judgment that the Lord is bringing. All right? and, and like it says, I think it's left and I, is the Lord brings his judgment every day. Okay. And all right, his judgment to life it's happening every day. And you people don't understand it, man. You don't know what the fuck's going on, man. Yeah. You're so lost, you're so lost in the sauce, you're so caught up in your own world, you're stuck in your own bubble, that you don't give a crap what's, what, what's getting ready to happen, man. Because in your mindset, you think that America's gonna go on forever, not realizing that America's been going down the jam the whole time, and, and, and it's, it's no, be to a time where in society that you once knew will be no more. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just add on. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say that uh, in Isaiah that wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our times. You know, this is what's going to keep us stable. That's We're right. going to understand why all this is happening. That's While it. you know all this uh, madness is happening, we understand that's judgment from the Lord. Yep. Yeah. I was going to say it. Just like right now, you got tornadoes happening in China, yeah. floods happening all around yeah. the earth. You go right, the protest, protest yeah. you know, people being jacked up from that potion that they received from the devil. They don't understand what's going on. And you know, you know what they say in the, all these floods, these fires that's happening all, throughout the world, all right? Droughts, the rate that they never ever expected, global warming, climate change. No, let's get to see what the Bible says. Let me finish this, bro. It says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. So when we see all these things, we know what's happening, man. We know who's in control of all these events, man. Even if it's uh, even if it's Esau doing his harp system, he's still the Lord allowing. Who's in control of yeah. yeah, he's still the Lord allowing that to happen. He was set up to uh, take peace away from the earth. Yeah. It says that evil was created for uh, the day of evil, the yeah. wicked. Yeah. Yeah. All right, the deceiver and the deceiver are his. Yeah. All right, it's the Lord that controls everything. All right, yeah. Lord. Um, rejoicing of the whole firm yeah. unto the end. Verse 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said today, if he will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Right, because that's what our forefathers did. They hardened their hearts. They wanted, they didn't want, they, you know, they went against Moses and Aaron, which was the leadership that Yahweh Bush and Yahshai set up at that time. They wanted, they, they went against them and wanted to sit themselves their own leaders to go back to Egypt man all right and it's just like today our people are hard in their hearts today against the prophets that the Lord has set up all right and that's simply because our people don't see us as the prophets of the Lord they think that we need some big ass church 
in a big congregation with a nice suit on to, to, to as the Lord to deal with us. When our Lord Yahweh Shai himself didn't have these things. He wasn't rich. Alright, he became poor for our sakes, man. Yeah, look at John the Baptist, man. That's why like, holding this. Yeah, Yahweh Shai was like, what'd you expect, you know? So I got so You asked by Isaiah, right? So, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. So this is why we got me floods in Colorado, floods Arizona. in Arizona, floods in New York, floods in Germany, China, floods in China. This is why you have a fire in the coldest, was supposed to be the coldest city, a place in the world, which is Siberia. You had a, like a fire tornado over there, man. All right? They're having all these earthquakes. All right, this is why. Go ahead. It says not no global warming or no climate change all right go ahead verse 6 thou shalt be visited of the lord yahweh the host all right the lord of armies host means armies all right if you go to jeremiah 15 25 and you look up the word armory part of those armory is rain hail and these storms these fires and these earthquakes all right that's part of his armory and the lord is opening it up all right, he's the Lord of hosts. He's the man of war. And yeah, he's man. open up his army right now throughout the world. Go ahead. Shall be visited of the Lord Yahweh hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of the devouring fire. So this is why you see all these things going on, man, because the Lord is visiting this place. All right? And we see it because our eyes are open. Like the Abishal said, blessed be our eyes for we see these things. Right. These people, they, they want to blame climate change and global warming, not knowing the scriptures like this, man. Not knowing that the earth is, like it says in Isaiah 24, it is, it is not, it is, the earth faded. It's, it's faded away. I got you. All right, bro. It's uh, Surah 39 and 29. It says, fire and hell and famine and death, all, all right. these were created for, for vengeance. Right. Yeah, it it says, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Yep. All these is what the Lord uses to punish the people. Like for example, if you go to you read Joshua 10, when when we, oh, were, man. When we were taking over yeah. uh, our land from these Canaanites, yeah. all right? When Joshua slew these, the, ham, the Canaanites, all right? The, the, the ones that the, they, the army of the heathens, they saw that they were losers, so they fled. So guess what the Lord did? He opened up the he opened up the heavens. He brought his he forth his armory. All right, he brought he rained he rained hailstones to the point where more of them died of the hailstones than than them that died of uh, that got slain by yeah, by Israel, man. Yep. And that was an easy thing for the Lord, yeah. Right, because you know how Esau he has a military, he has an air force, he has a ground force. You know, you got the Marines, the Army, Green Berets, Navy Seals, and then you got the Navy and all that. Well, guess what? The Lord got the Lord got for, for Army too. His air force are these. He gives the storms, the missiles, the chariots. His ground force are his men. All right, House of David's back in a big way. All right, all it takes is for, for the Lord to activate us, man. He got, he got, he, he got a uh, Leviathan. That's his name, his chariots, in, in the storms. All right, because the Lord can also use these animals as a part of his armor to use them to judge people. Man. All right, so just like how he saw out of the military, the Lord got a military, and he's using it, man. All right, because at the end of the day, when he saw his kingdom, right, when it's about to be destroyed, the Lord's going to send his son. I was shy. Right. Uh, which is going to bring war. It's going to bring a sword upon Esau, man. And he's going to take down his king within one hour. That's it. Uh, they going to take much. Is that it? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Hey, you said you're holding the precept? Done. All right. You can bring it up. Let's go. It's uh, Jeremiah 11 and 9. And the Lord said unto me, The conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. Right, and it even went all the way back in the wilderness, man. Because what are our people doing? Worshiping a golden calf. Yeah. Right world. after they got delivered. Right. Right after they got delivered and they heard the laws, laws of, of the Messiah, they went and built a golden calf, man. All no, right. No, no, no. After, I mean, uh, while Moses was receiving the laws, he was going forty days, forty nights. Then when he came, I mean, while he was going, there was. You know, they put that pressure on Aaron. You know, even caused Aaron to go off, man. Right. And building that golden calf. That's why, uh, it was this golden calf that delivered us. That's why Moses said, uh, why are these people naked? Not literally, but as naked meaning they're sinning. They're sinning by worshiping a, a, that golden calf, man. 
That's why you got Levi's to slaughter all those ones that were that were uh, that were worshiping that calf, man. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> and they went after other gods to serve them. And the house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. Right, because Man. the Lord is, the, the Lord, right now, our people, they're worshiping all these idols, not worshiping the Lord. Refusing to acknowledge who they are and acknowledge who the God is, man. All right? And the Lord's going to punish our people, bring all these evils, and the evils that he's going to bring upon them, our people are not going to be able to escape, man. That's right. All right, go ahead. And though they shall cry unto me, right. I will not hearken unto them. And a lot of our people are going to cry out to the Most High. But the Most High is not going to hearken on to them. Right? The Most High is not going to, you know, feel bad for them. Like in the ancient, in the ancient times when our people were in captivity. Right. All right? Cried, when they cried to the Lord, the Lord had mercy upon them, man. Well, guess what? Mercy is being shown to our people right now before the shit gets bad. But our people want to grab on or enter into the doors of mercy. That's why... That's why when all hell breaks loose, no mercy will be shown, man. No, no mercy at all. All right? And guess who the Lord's going to use to bring his wrath? To bring the sword. All right? The wicked. The Edomites. All right? And Esau, he's a merciless motherfucker, man. And the Lord, ha the Lord has the spirit upon him. The Lord has him like that because in the days to come, Esau ain't going to show you no mercy. And at the end of the day, the Lord's not going to show you no mercy, man. No matter how, how, how many times you cry, or, or, or call upon him, and the Lord's not going to argue. All right. Yeah. Instead, he's going to laugh. Yeah. Because while everything's real, everything was no, normal, right? So normal, you, you were laughing at his prophets. All right. Saying all whatever you said in your thoughts. Even even your thoughts that you think about us, the angels right there recording and taking to the heavenly Father, man. Don't be surprised. Right before you die, the thoughts that you said to the men are, are being are being played back, being said back to you, man. All right. And don't marvel if you know these these people that be. We'd be hearing about the judgments, man. Twice, you know, scoffers, man. You know, being taken out. You know, Lord knows. I got one know if y'all ain't got nothing. That was it? That was it. It's uh, Isaiah 25. Oh, Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff yeah. in their hand. Which just goes back to Esau. All right, because Assyrian, they were known as a cruel, very cruel rulership, man. All right, but they're not empowered today. So this applies, we apply this today to Esau. For white man. And ain't no uh no one cooler than Esau, man. Right. You know the scripture said tender and mercies of the uh, of the uh, wicked or short. No 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 uh, it says the righteous have uh all pity upon his beast. But the tender oh. mercies of the of the wicked are cool. Yeah. Yeah, Esau is cool. It says I was just gonna say he, he fucks up over his own people as well, man. Yeah. He has no mercy on anyone. Not in these animals, his people, you know, nobody. The scriptures refer to the so-called white man as the violent and evil man. Yeah. You know? Yep. And everyone knows the white man's history. Why you think yeah. they're trying to take away take it away from the history books, man? And it ain't like it's just his history, like he changed. They can doing the same shit now. Right. Just be more cunning with it. Yeah. I was in the Planet of the Days movie, you know, the destroyer movie. Uh, beware of the beast man. Beware of the beast man. You know? Says, oh Assyrian, the rod of my anger. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the Lord, the Lord's gonna use his Edomites to show his anger upon the wicked of our people. Yeah, the beloved white man. <laughs> Your right. beloved white man is gonna fucking turn into a straight up demon on you, man. You know? It says, Oh Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against an Which, The staff in the Lord's hand is his indignation. This is a sword, man. All right, go ahead. It says, I will send him against a hypocritical nation. Right, a hypocritical nation is an example. An example, that Black Lives Matter shit. Black Lives Matter, but here it is. You're killing your own people, robbing right. your own people, right. fucking over your own people. That's right. But then when Esau will kill you, right, you want to go out and protest, man. All right, you look down upon your own people, your eyes evil towards your brother. But then when Esau, the true enemy, all right, kills you, you want to go out and protest about it. You're it's fucking hypocritical. Yeah. All right, here it is. You have your own leaders that you use all that money that has been funded to them to live deliciously in hills with Edomites, man. All right, that's just this, the hypocritical nation of our people. All right. Well, they're calling themselves Christians, but yet they wicked as all hell. Yeah. You know, you you you, you 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 know, 
They're ho they're homosexuals. You know they're, they're all fucked up, man. You drop some up. It says, I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? Yep, and that's what exactly what's getting ready to happen in these last days. Which is what called bringing in Jacob's trouble. Man. That's it. He's getting my saying, well, these troops ain't gonna be showing no mercy. You know, go into your houses, ravish your wives, separate you from your family, put you in concentration camps, take all you, take, take, take you, take whatever belongs to you away from you, all right, and put a lot of you to death, man. And, right. it, and the reality of it, when it happens, it's going to be worse than what we're speaking. Yep. Man. You know, we're just saying it because it's written in the scriptures. But when it actually takes place in your life, you know, it's going to be horrible, man. Way worse, man. This you is know? why it's going to be so bad that those are going to need to protect us. All right, and lift up a standard, a standard, a standard for us. That's a huge power. Yeah. Except to send Michael, you know? Yep, yep. Daniel is 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, yeah, sorry, such yeah. as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Go ahead, man. You got it. Go. Think on, about go through. Think about uh, World War One, World War Two. Right? Look how bad those times were. Same day, the flood. Angry, bro. All right. 1992. Yeah. There's a lot of events that happened on Earth yeah. that was terrible, but not like what's about to happen now. All right. It's gonna be so bad that Michael's gonna stand up for for his for his people, which is not talking about everybody, the elect of Israel, the Israel of the Most High. Right. It's gonna say too. Uh, knowledge shall be increased. That's another way in this place. It's gonna be an unprecedented time because technology has been is is advanced. Yeah, this man's man. weaponry is crazy, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, stop it up on guns, wearing body armor, you know, to get have a chance against this devil, man. You, 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 you're, you're tripping. Here it is. This man has robots, like Mozart always brings out. He has robots creating these things, man. Yeah. This nanotechnology, man. Putting it within the people. What is the, That's unprecedented, man. You never heard nothing like that. They could uh, activate during a uh, 5G wave. Yeah, man. Five with, uh, you know, 5G, yeah. Through the, through the beams. Yeah change people into who, who knows what. So we're already in a time that has never been, you know? It says, everyone that shall be found written in the book, wait, wait, wait. There, sh there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And who's written in the book? The elect, all right? we're. The elect, which we hope to be a part of, are written, written in the man's book of life, man. That's right. All right. So if you get Deuteronomy, start, start off reading that. Deuteronomy 8, which is read through uh, 9. Book 9. Deuteronomy 8 and verse 1. All the commandments which I command because thee. Because what's coming, we're going to really need to put our, we got, we got to put our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because we're not going to eat as we, as, we, as we should, as, as we used to. We're not gonna, you know, we're gonna be, we're not gonna be sleeping in our beds. Like the scripture says, we have to be as purples upon the earth in those days. We gotta fully trust in God, bless in our shackles. Back then, in the wilderness, our people were as pilgrims. You know, they stayed at a spot until the, until the chariot moved, and they went to another spot. They dwelt, they dwelt there for a certain amount of days, and they moved. That's how we gotta be those days. Don't think that you're gonna stay in your house. Don't think that you're gonna stay in your house the whole time in Jacob's truck, man. You're gonna have to move house to house. Have you ever seen like a World War Z? One of the things that God said is movement is life. So in these days we gotta constantly be moving man. Having our uh, having our bags, you know, bug out bags and go. Yeah. You know? And like the brother is saying, it's not about moving in peace. It's about moving, you know, with the spirit. Yeah because, yeah, because the Lord's gonna guide us in those days. It's gonna be the spirit upon us that's gonna tell us we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta go this way, we gotta go that way. Yeah. You know, so we don't we don't gotta, you know, worry about how we're gonna make it, or how we're gonna survive, or where we're gonna go. The Lord, He was gonna guide us. He got us, right? man. He got us, and we just gotta believe. Just knowing that what we're going through is just a tribulation and a test, all right, before we enter into the kingdom. It's all test, right? Man. Can I get the scripture for you all? Okay, can I bring it? says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from the law. That's right. 
We're going to go through many afflictions, but each affliction that we go through, the Lord is going to deliver us. All right, out of each and every one of each and every one. Go ahead. There's a saying in the book. It's uh, like there's a saying in the book, but won't kill you, will make you stronger. Like the book is saying, that oh, this is just a test. All right, you're ultimately to take it. It's Second uh, Corinthians five and seven. When we walk not by slack, when we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, just like uh, uh, the book of uh, Eli. Yep, yep. He yep. was blinded the whole time. Yep. All right, and he was hey. walking by faith. Not by sight. Right? Deep, because it's gonna be so bad if you focus, if you put your faith on the things that you see, you never you're never gonna make it. If you put your faith on things that you see, alright, you're never gonna make it, man. You're yeah, gonna be man. losing it. That's why these people gonna be bugging out because their faith and their hope is in this world. Yeah. Man. This world is crumbling right in front of the eye. This is why they're gonna be losing it, man. Losing their yeah. goddamn mind in those days. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to say their mind is invested here, man. That's all they know. So when this place goes, their minds don't go with it, man. Yep. Not to mention they got that poison within them. No, no more ice cream. No more sitting down on dates with your, with your, with your, with your woman. Talk about no the Chipotle. No more, no more, no more going out, man, having fun. All that's going to come to an end. Right, no more pleasure. Oh, the script is saying, I'm sorry, y'all. The script says Ezekiel. Uh, the, mirth, the, the sword is furbish, the sword is furbish, shall we yep. be in mirth? Alright? We shouldn't be in mirth. We nope. shouldn't have our, have just trying to have fun, enjoy our life, man. We should try to seek the Lord. Why right? may be found get right with the Lord. That's right. Because things are going to get so bad, you're not going to be able to find the Lord, man. Alright? So, this is the book of Joshua 1 and 8. It says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right, it's about, you know, having that wisdom in that time, man. About, you know, tr uh, truly, you know, walking, you know, doing correctly by Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh By following what's written in this book. All right, that is what's going to help you and guide you. It says, yeah, we're, right now we're in the time of grace. We can't keep all the laws, but there's laws we could keep to the best of our ability. Yeah. All right, and grace is, is a time, is a period for you to get right. Yeah. All right, and this is what we're doing. We're trying to get right with the Lord. So we'll, 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 when these days do come, the day of trouble do come, you remember our works. The Lord's not unrighteous to forget them. All right, so we will be delivered from the days, of, days that are at hand. There's uh, verse 9, it says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Wait, For, no, don't be afraid, man. Let these fucking Edomites, let the wicked be afraid, man. Yeah. Let, the, let these, these uh, uh, blunt smoking, you know, niggas, these gang banging ass niggas, these fucking whores out here, let them be afraid, man. Yeah. You know, it's time for us to stand on our faith, man. Show the Lord our faith, okay, that we really believe in him, man. You know, that's what time we in, man. Showing our faith, man. All right, because these motherfuckers are willing to die for bullshit, man. Yeah. They're willing to die over colors, man. Yeah. You know? These fucking Christians, they say they're willing to die for Jesus Christ, man. They're not. But we know the real power, man. So they do say Christians in the time of the Lord. That's it, bro. It says, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Not to be thou dismayed. This is when they're going to war, man. All right, the Lord cleared the path for them, you know, to take down these fucking nations, man. Just like when they had to go spy. It was Joshua and Caleb and 10 other uh, uh, men. Yeah. They had to go and spy, and, and those 10 were scared, man. But the scriptures say Joshua and uh, Caleb were, was of another spirit. So that's how we have to be, man. Sure. Of another spirit, man. Faith, uh, full of faith, man. They show confidence and courage. Scriptures, I mean, not scriptures, but there's a quote that I have at my house. Let your faith be greater than your fear, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? But I got this. Oh, you got more? Yeah. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, For the Lord, Yahweh, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. All right, so wherever we go. Mm. All right, you know, like I quoted, er quoted earlier, we got to be as pilgrims. Yeah. We got to constantly be moving. So wherever we're going, the Lord's going to be with us, man. Constantly. You know? We just got to have our faith and trust. All right, like, uh, like, uh, trust the process. Yeah, man. You know, all we got to do is trust the process, man, because in order for you to make it to the kingdom, you have to go through great tribulation. You have to go through that process of 
going, being put through that fire, staying on that, being on that uh, narrow path. But like it says in Isaiah 43, the Lord's going to help us get through the water and through the fire, man. He's going to help us. He's going to guide us. All we got to do is believe. Yeah. All right? Like the brother was saying earlier, man, these people have nobody, man. Nobody helping them, guiding them at all. We have the Lord. All right? What much more do we need? That's why, that's why uh, when a major emergency have what people fucking flock into the store. Yeah. You know? Because they have no guidance and shit. You know, they weren't they weren't expecting something like this to happen. So they just fucking at the last minute at like the last minute they rush to the stores, grab whatever they can. You know? Go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah fifty eight and eleven. And the Lord shall guide thee continually yeah, and, and satisfy thy soul in drought. And right. skip is, skip is saying, I wish I said, uh, I am with thee even to the end of the world. Yeah. And the NLT says, even at the end of this age, man. Well, so the Lord is with us, man. Yeah. You know? Let's read that one more time. I was fired. Go. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought. Yep, so the Lord's going to guide us. Because right now, there's a drought going on. It's going to get worse. It's going to get be a time where you're gonna go to your grocery stores and ain't gonna be nothing there. Not even right. that. If there is even something in there, you gonna have that you're gonna have to have that mark, man. Right. Yeah. Right. So we're on a whole different, you know, level. Yeah, because in Revelation it says no man's gonna be able to buy or sell in those days. That means the without Lord, that mark. Without that mark, that means the Lord is gonna have to intervene and help us. Which right. where, which the miracles come from, man? Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And he has intervened before with the, with the prophets that were. That were that was surviving his thing. Look at Elijah. Yep. That's the spirit. Nah. Uh, Elijah, he got, he was fed with ravens. Yep. Look what he, uh, with the woman that, with the woman the son that the Lord guided him to, he gave, he gave her, um, she had oil. And Elijah said that oil is never going to run out until the day of, uh, until the rain comes back, man. That's so, so in those days, you can have a bottle of water that never runs out. You're able to take a shower with it, drink it, wash your wives, wash your kids. That it never, it, runs, it out. never runs out of water. Come on, People man. like that, oh, that's crazy, the hell? No, nothing like that is crazy. That's nothing happened. is impossible. Right, nothing, nothing is impossible. Our Lord is omnipotent, uh, uh, which means all power. Omnipresent, which, which means all power. Oh, even uh, with the light, you guys know you got you know, you're not the biblical Jews, right? You know that, right? You guys are right. imposters, man. You're a bunch of devils, man. Careful how you talk. Alright, shut up, man. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna take your crap. Be careful how you talk. We're not gonna take we your crap. We tired of your crap, motherfucker. Damn liars. <laughs> I'm not gonna take your crap. Shut up, man. Oh, I'll be rude in speech, man. Yeah, man. Go ahead, man. And like I was saying, uh, even a uh, Elijah, the Lord gave him water from the brook. Oh, you know, in a time where there was about to be a drought. You have a question? The Lord will quench our thirst. You have a question? Where were the Israelites? Yeah. Heard you what? I know, I know. I can't even hear you. The country that we're representing? No, no, we're, we're a people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. We got the sign to show our people who they truly are, not what the white man has told us. White man, I said, we're black, we're Africans, we're Mexicans. That's a bunch of lies. We're the children of Israel. God's chosen people, the only ones He loved, the only ones He's coming back to save. And the Lord looked like us, not like you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Deuteronomy eight and one. Actually, uh, let me let me close this out real quick, bro. One more on that. Uh, back in uh, Isaiah 58 and 11, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Yeah, the Lord's going to be with you, man. He's got that faith like Will's been saying. Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, I was saying before them fucking rats came by, you have a bottle of water, I would never run out. Yeah, bro. Mm. You know, things like that happen. You know? Oh, yep. He, got, he was thirsty. Lord had water drop, um, drop uh, come from a bone of an ass. The ass that he just killed all those Philistines with. All right. Daniel in the uh, lion's den. The Lord yeah. had Habakkuk yeah. brought, brought him food. All right. These things, that's why we started off reading Romans 15. Everything we're going to four times, we're going for our learning that we do patience and hope. Because you, you don't, it's not like 
we're gonna be full. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna be days. We're gonna probably go out, go without food, maybe just have a little bit of water. You're hungry. The Lord knows you're hungry. He's not gonna let you starve like these people. All right, Joe Five is bringing heat in those days. Yeah, so yeah, the Lord man. can have it. The Lord can have it where. What happened to Elijah happened to, happened to you. The Lord brought ravens to bring you food. You stumbled across a doomsday prep, a doomsday prep hole. Oh, you came across a bunch of food and water, man. Hey, All right. I, I was trying to say the things that you see me do, you, you used to do and greater. Yeah. Did he not multiply uh, fish and loaves? Did he not turn water to water? Did he make mean, water to wine? All it takes is faith. Yeah. And spiritual power is like the highest level of faith you can have. Alright? Yeah, uh, faith will activate that uh that power. Uh that Joe 5. I saw Joe 5 in uh 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Right, you got the sword, you got the famine, you got the pestilence, all these deadly destruction that's coming upon the world. Alright? Go ahead. Yeah, and seven, there shall no evil touch What's thee. The seventh plague that the Lord is going to bring. Brothers? Seventh plague? Yeah. That the scripture's talking about right there. I'll read it again. It says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, and seven, there shall no evil touch thee. The seventh is the fire, uh, right? Yeah, that's right. That's the seventh plague. The scripture say, uh, the seventh trump. That's right. Yeah. You know? Which is the new thing. Which are, which are the missiles that fire? That's the right. Lord's going to deliver us from that. He's going to bring us into his chambers, which are the chairs, so we can be hid from the weapons of his indignation. All right, go ahead. It says, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Right, in famine, all right, well, there's going to be days where we're going to be hungry, we're going to want some food, we're going to need to survive. All right, but the Lord said he's going to redeem us, man. Right, the scripture said the Lord knows what we need before we even ask. That's right. You know? So he's the one putting us in this situation, you know? Because, hey, if you're going food, think about it, if you're going, if you're going without food for two days, the Lord knows you can go through the life. He knows you're not going to die just off two days. Alright? He's just going to give you that period of without no food as a test to see if you have faith, man. You know, everything's a test. Alright? In these days, the Lord's going to test us even to our limit. Alright? That's right. It's trying like gold. You know? That's right. Yeah. It says, uh, and in war from the power of the sword. Right, because you're gonna have all these, you're gonna have troops out here, you're gonna have people with guns fighting each other, looking, looking for food, looking for resources, going to house, house like it says in uh second head of 16, we're gonna be going house with the sword and all that. We don't need, we don't need, we don't need to be delivered from these things. Yeah. Alright, and the Lord's gonna deliver us. He gives us that spiritual power. It'll be a day where you're stuck in the corner, there's no way out. Calling the Lord, the Lord sends an angel right there to smite all those men. With blindness, like it did in, uh, in the time of uh, um, militia, all right? When the Syrians surround, uh, surrounded him, man, all right? The Lord, oh, the Lord had an angel smite all those soldiers with blindness and take them over to another, another, another city. Did you all mention right? Lot? Mm -hmm. Did you mention Lot? No, not, no, and you had Lot, which the Lord got Lot and his family, and and, 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 and basically teleported them, all right? He told them to flee to the mountains and don't look back. Yeah. Right, but who looked back? His yeah. wife, of course. Yeah. What happened to her? She turned into a pillar of salt. But before that, when those men of the, uh, of the city of Sodom, they wanted to lay with them. And the angels. Oh, yeah. yep. So oh. what did the Lord do? What did the Lord have the angels do? Blinded them. Blinded all the men. Can't so, the doors. So you can have you can have military outside your door, and the Lord blind them. And you, you know, yeah. that's a way for you to escape, man. So, hey, poor Gideon, they, they had encampment, and they started killing each other. Remember, uh, y'all seen that movie, uh, it's called Freaks, uh, Freaks? Oh, yeah. Y'all seen that movie? Yeah, good. I like that. With the, with the son and the, the I mean, the, the man and his daughter. daughter. Yeah, that was right? dope. Remember when she was able to control? Oh, yeah. And she turned, you know? Yeah, that was amazing. Man. Who could do that? I thought she was dreaming, but she was actually doing it. Yeah, with her mind, man. You guys can walk through it. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry, all right. thank all right. you. You know, my bad for going at them, at them rats, man. You know, but I hate seeing them up there. Uh, it's been a while. What was the girl's power? Say what? What was the girl's power? The daughter? It's been a while, bro. She could, she could control people with her mind. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 So all the soldiers that that her father was running into, yeah. you know, she was basically giving them a pass or having them, you know, kill themselves or whatever it was. I can't remember. It was yeah, a minute, uh, you know, okay. over a year ago. Oh, I yeah. seen it. Yep, yep, real mother. Yep. 
I got a precept for that. That's it. And they make those movies, but that's the Lord putting the spirit on them to make those movies for us. Yeah, right. To build our faith, man. You want me to, uh, I think that was it, huh? Yeah. It says. Netflix, I'm still on there. Yeah, it was Netflix, yeah. Three weeks, yeah. That's good, man. I would skip to the part where, like, the ice cream truck. Skip to that part. Yeah, that's what I was doing. But it says, it says, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Right. Yeah. We're going to be at peace, man. Look, man. We're going to be at peace. Uh, you seen the movie Road when they found the wine and all that? Yeah. Start drinking, man. We're gonna be sipping. You know? Like a bunker, huh? Right? Yeah. When he went into the underground bunker. And even him shows you to be a pilgrim upon be as pilgrims upon earth. Because he could have stayed there and enjoyed his time, eating food, having a nice shower, and up, but he knew he had to go. Yeah. You know, he had to continue to move. We got, and there's things we can learn from watching movies like that, man. Yeah. All right, all, the ultimate learning experience we can learn from is the scriptures. The scriptures speak about being as pilgrims upon the earth. Right, we gotta be constantly on the move. You can't just stay in, in, one, in one spot thinking that you're gonna ride Jacob's Chobot, man. You gotta be on the move. That's a soldier mentality as well. That's right. Good. That's also part of uh, Esau's witchcraft, is that he has to tell you what he's gonna do before yep. he does it. And that's the main reason why he has his media and these movies. Yep. So that, all that shit you see in these movies, that's really what they're planning on doing, man. Yep. Hitting in you plain know? sight. Plain sight, yeah. It's not just a movie, watch, it's entertainment or a game to yeah. play yep. for entertainment or a show to watch that actually has a message, right? It's just these people are so fucking stupid to see that message. I remember I seen on a, a TikTok, I think, man. I think TikTok is better than Instagram, man. They got more information. But um, they had one guy playing a game. He was playing one of these games. I don't know. But uh, on the, inside the game, it said uh, the, the, the VAX is a hoax. Yo, or, 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 uh, uh, whatever it was, man. Some, some is a hoax. Yeah, some is a hoax, man. So I got the, I got the definition. That ain't, that ain't there on accident. You know what I mean, yeah. I got the definition for pilgrim. And it says the etymology for pilgrim. It says uh, uh, as a penance or to discharge some vow or religious obligation or seeking some miracle. Spiritual benefit. Oh, we there again, huh? So the word uh, pilgrim in the etymology it says as a penance or to discharge some vow or religious obligation or seeking some miracle or spiritual benefit. Yeah, that last part right there. We're gonna be seeking miracles, man, seeking the Lord. You know, and, 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 and uh the scripture says in Sirach 2, ye that believe in him. We're going to be looking for the mercy. miracles. Yeah, wait, wait for his mercy. mercy. There we go. Oh, oh. The Lord did say he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So he's going to reward us. He's he going to reward us for our faith now. We've been holding on to our faith. When the whole world ain't even paying attention. Man. That's right. You know? One thing that Apostle Bar said that always stuck with me is in those days, expect miracles. Expect miracles. Don't just hope that they happen. Wait for them. Expect it. Well, that's think think that they're going to happen. The word actually, hope, I'm sorry, bro. Actually expect it. Know that's going to happen. You just got to wait for it. That's what the word hope means. Right. To expect. That's right. You know? We're expecting the Lord to deliver us, man. Even now. You know, when you're going through your trials, pray to you all the way outside with the faithful men delivering you, man. That's, you know? That's what it is. Without faith, it's impossible to lose the Lord, man. You got to have faith. No matter in your good times and your bad times. It's so easy to have faith. When you're, when you're, yeah, we, we have everything. Good, yeah. You're doing good. It's so easy to say you believe in most high and praise him. But how about in the bad times? That's, That's why a lot of people, when, when the bad times and everything is taken away from them, their livelihood, they're going to be cursing the most high, man. They're going to crack. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't curse the most high. That's right? one thing. Because they, they don't, they have no understanding. Right. That's one thing Apostle said years ago, man. Apostle Lord. Sorry for y'all to walk through, man. Um, That's cool. Pascal Bar, um, he said, uh, it's easy to believe, like you said, it's easy to believe when everything's going good. The time to believe is when everything's going bad, man. Yep. Yeah, we gotta that's, be, that's the time to show your faith, man. That's right. You gotta be like Joe, like, like the brother saying, everything we're in the fourth time is written for our learning. 
Job said, though the Lord slay me, I will maintain my trust in him. That's it. You give it and you take it away. Yeah. You know? The Lord may have it where uh, you have in this life. You have a good car. You have a good house. You have a house. Your own place. Uh, you have a, a good job. He gave it to you. But in these days to come, all those things that you have will be taken away from you. And you got to be willing to lose it. All right? Lose it, man. Lose your life. Lose it, your career. Lose these things you have. Because you don't want to try to save it end up being, to receive that maharagma, alright, and end up being burnt up, man, just because you try to save your life, you end up losing it, alright, and it all, it's all what you see going on with this, uh, with this, uh, juice, it's all just a quiz, for the big test, alright, yeah, and these NFL players, quiz, right? they're, yeah, to fill the quiz, but they're the big test, these NFL players, they're, they're, some of them are, are required, are, are thinking, about the careers now because they don't want to see receive this juice thing. And that's a good thing. Right. That's a good thing because they're all jakes. That's right. You got uh DeAndre Hopkins. He's, he's, he's the top guy. Top receiver right there, man. He's going I'm gonna retire if they I think I'm gonna retire if, if, if they force me to take this juice. You know? I know uh LeBron been dodging that shit. Yeah. Yeah. He been dodging that shit like a plague. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know it's hey, hey, the camera, 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 camera. Oh, the camera. What's up with the camera, man? Right now? Oh, turn, turn the thing. There you go. Wow. Tighten it. Try to tighten it. Yeah, they're going to have to decide where you're headed. Low mod. Hey, you should check out the camera. Uh, get a shooter. He said the wrong guy. They got it? They got it? That's what the shooter said. Yeah. Didn't Kyrie Irving get one? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I heard a shooter. I didn't hear it. I heard him say it. Yeah, that. He said what? He's the only one that didn't get it. Who the run? I don't really know sports, man. Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, he did not answer. And when I spake, he did not hear. Oh, Isaiah 65 and verse 12. Therefore, Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword? Right, because you're going to have a certain amount of jakes. That's going to be their judgment that they're going to have to suffer is to die by the sword. It's a certain amount of jakes, their judgment is to die by the famine, die by the pestilence, die by these evil these beasts, these newly created creatures. All right, go ahead. And he shall all bow down to the slaughter. There's a great slaughter is coming upon the Lord's people. So, all right. Well, the great slaughter is coming upon the Lord's people, man. Which a lot of his people are wicked. And this is why that great slaughter is coming, man, because you don't want to get right. Sure. All right, go ahead. It says, ye all bow down to the slaughter. That's two thirds. They all have to. And destroyed. Because when I called, he did not answer. When I spake, he did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes. All right, the Lord's calling now. Do his prophets. Yeah. And a lot of you are ignoring him, ignoring his prophets, ignoring his counsel, and putting his counsel to not, yeah. not taking heed. Instead, he laughs, he scoff, he mourn. But like the scripture says, laugh now, you're going to mourn a week later. Yeah. All right? You get the first laugh, guess what? This is gonna get the last one. The Lord and his men. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, the Lord ain't no one to laugh at, man. You hey, because really, you're not laughing at us. You're not talking shit to us. You're not thinking evil of us. You're thinking it of the Lord, because we're his men. We, we, we are here representing the house bush and our shot. Yeah, we're the ambassadors of the Lord. Right. It's like it's like a we send the 300, they sent a messenger, right? Messenger gives you the message. If you don't want to take the message, you kill the message. You kill the messenger. You kill, you kill the messenger. You speak you to the messenger. That implies you, you're basically whatever you say to the messenger goes well, to, the to the king. king hey, the, all right. They remind, it's like they remind me of the story when King David sent out two yep, men yep, and they cut yep, off their oh, arms to and, Ammon, yep. and their beard and they went to war because of what they did to the messengers. Yep. King David. All right. So we being the messengers of Yahweh, blessing our shot, deliver you onto a message. Deliver you. A message, whether you want to hear it or not, it's on you. All right, and you scoffing and, and, and saying all manner of evil against us, you're saying it to the Lord. 
Right. Yeah. Even when uh when uh King David uh, uh sent messengers to Nabal. Okay? Nabal was like, basically who the fuck is King David that I say uh uh you know listen to him. So that was straight to, straight to the king. You know, and King David after that he was like, shit, let's go. Let's get this motherfucker, man. But then his woman came, you know, Abigail came, which was really King David's woman in the spirit, man. You know? And the Lord took out the bar and she joined King David, man. Just right. But but did evil before my eyes and did not choose that wherein I delight not. Right, which is what is the Lord delight in? It's uh fearing him, man. That's what the Lord delights in. You know, you fearing him, man. Which is gonna move you to do what he do what he said to do, man. Keeping his commandments to the best of your ability, man. Which shows you love him. And if you're a man, teaching his word, man. Right, which shows if, you believe in him. Yeah, if you're a woman, you know, it's, it's getting in line, man. You know? It's about action, not words. That's, that's our people. It's just words, not about action. They say they love the most high, they say they believe in them, but really you don't. But their hearts All are right. far from them. That's right. That's why the scriptures say, a hypocritical nation. You know? I got preset. Go ahead. It's uh, Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. Right, and a lot of our people right now are despising this word. And what's going to end up happening? You're going to end up being destroyed here in America when America is destroyed. Go ahead. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Right, because when you fear the Most High, you do the things that are that is pleasing unto him. Like, uh, forget uh, Sirach 1 and, um, uh, it says, uh, yeah, 1 and uh, 15. No, Sirach 2 and 15. Okay, then. It says, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. Right, so if you fear the Lord, you're not going to disobey his word. You're going to do, you're going to keep his word. You're going to follow his word, right? It says, and they that love him will keep his ways. That's it. Right, because what is love? Keeping the commandments. It's not just talking. It's actually keeping the laws to the best of your ability. Not trying to find any excuse. That's what our people do. Find any excuse in the book to do their wickedness. Just right? like a child would do, they, they reverence their parents, they're going to do it with their acts. Just like a wife, if she reverence her husband, she's going to do it. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Yep. Wait, can I say something? What is well pleasing unto the Lord? Can I it says, Sirach 1 and 27, for the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are this his delight. Life. That's it, man. So believing in the Lord is well pleasing. Faith and meekness, man. Yep. That's where it's at. Yeah, that's, that's how it says in Zephaniah 2 and 3. That's yes. how we're going to be hid from his anger. Seek weakness, seek righteousness, yep. seek weakness, seek judgment. All right? Was that you be hid from the Lord's anger? Yep. You got any more, Shemai? That was it on that. Now, you got more on that, on that uh, spot, bro. Because it says, as the Lord's majesty is, so is his mercy, man. We'd rather fall into the hands of the Lord, man. You know? Uh, it says, verse 17, they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls wow, in His sight. Our, we're preparing our hearts, man. Go ahead. Saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. Right. We, we trust in the Yahweh man. Mm -hmm. Look what Esau is talking about. His threats. You know, whatever consequences. It, you know, in this society, we're not yielding to Him. Yeah. We don't give a damn about that. Like like Peter said, we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. You know, we're going to put our faith in the Lord, man. We know, just like the history of Susanna, you know, those two wicked-ass niggas came up against her and claimed that, you know, she was committing adultery. Well, who, who, who the Lord sent? The Lord sent Daniel, man. And, 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 and a young man. And delivered her, man. Keep going on that, though, bro. One more verse. Saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as His majesty is, so is His mercy. There you go, man. So the Lord is merciful, man. You know? Beyond our understanding. Definitely. So we hoping in that, man. That's what our hope is in the mercy of the Lord, man. You know, fuck what we saw talking about. We're fucking ass. You know, running, running to, running to these, you know, juice centers and taking your juice because you're falling into the hands of men, which is a, which is a snare onto you, man. Because a lot of you people that run into the hands of men are you basically trust in the system. You trust in Esau. Scoop say, 
Cursed be the man I trusted in man. We're supposed to trust in Yahweh, but in Yahweh Shai, in his ways, okay? And now, now all these people that received that potion, not here, like the nigga woman on the uh, TikTok complaining, you know? Like you got bamboozled, you did get bamboozled, but that's on you, all right? Because you shouldn't trust this motherfucker in the first place, all right? His, 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 like the scripture says in Mark 12, his, his, his rust is not all taken away. It may seem like it's gone. You know what I mean? White brushed away. What happens when it, it, once, it gets once again and it dries up? The rust comes back. What is it always there? The scripture saying, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten by a serpent? Right. So who, we're not going to pity you people that run to these juice centers, yeah. get juiced up, and get, get fucked up. Get, get fucked up by it, man. Look on the back of their car. Zombie 9. Zombie 9. That's what that is. Look, you're hungry and looking like in the time of Egypt, or in the wilderness. The Lord rained manna, bread from heaven. Or that, that could happen. Go to sleep with an empty uh, fridge, wake up with a food. Right. Yeah. You can have an angel walk up to you with food. Okay? The Lord can have an angel come. Now, that's what I'm thinking about in these days, yeah. man. An angel coming to us, you know? Straight up with a message. Like, look, here's some food. Tomorrow, do this, do that, do that. Bam, be gone. chapter 16 verse 20 it says verily verily i say unto you that you shall weep and lament right but we've been we've been weeping and lamenting man catching hell man go ahead but the world but the world shall rejoice and ye shall be sorrowful look at that man so the world been living it up they've been doing they they thing man while we've been sorrowful man so the lord gonna flip it now we gonna be we gonna be eating, we're gonna be drinking, we're gonna be rejoicing while they fucking hungry, thirsty, and ashamed, man. Oh shit. Do you know? It says, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. Look at that, man. Now that's gonna be, you know, when we get on the other side, man. But the scripture say, no, no, no one's gonna be able to take that joy from us, man. You know? That joy is gonna start when hey, we're gonna see so much. Yeah, you got, You're gonna know the Lord dealing with you, man. You know? Oh, oh, what you got, bro? You got it, bro. Uh, he, got it. Yeah, Wait, you got on, it, bro. bro. What you got, bro? Uh, Second Ezra 2 and 27. I had it, I had it bro. Start 26. <laughs> start 26. 26. Bro. All right. This is Second Ezra 2 and 26. 
That's the spirit, man. You had that too? That's the spirit, man. <laughs> As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. Right. And we, and we are the servants of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. Open to be part you know, of his elect. If we are his elect, none of us are going to perish. And it's going to say, every hair on your head is numbered. Right. So, in these days, if you are the elect, you're going to be delivered. All right, Joe 5, you're gonna experience it, man. Woo! You're gonna experience Joe 5. Hey, it's gonna say, even the beast, you're gonna be at peace with the beast of the earth, you know? Yeah, the beast when, of the field. And then, so, then shall we know that our tabernacle is gonna be at peace? We don't know that to do with the good of things. This thing is gonna be happening, all right? Miracles are gonna be, be shown to you where you're gonna know that your tabernacle is at peace, man. That's right. You're gonna know that your name is written in, written in heaven, man. All right? Go ahead. In uh, Psalm 34, it says, man, we keep up all of his bones and none of them are broken. Well, you know, we're going to be guarded in those days because of the Lord. It's not good. That's really a prophecy on you when you have a shot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. <clears throat> for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Which is coming. Other That's the approaching. That can happen at any moment. That's the thief in the night to the, nope. to the ones in darkness. But not to us, because we're in the Lord's marvelous light. We're in the light. Go ahead. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Yeah, yeah, other, uh, these other people out here, they're going to be mourning. They're going to be in a mourning state. They're going to be in a confused state. All right? They're going to be lost, man. All right? They're going to they're gonna be mourning because of the things that they're going through, the things that they lost. The, the, the family members dying. Yep. Mm. We're just seeing, we're just seeing their, uh children die, being dashed to pieces in front of their eyes, and they have no power to do anything about it, mm. you know? Like us, say one of your loved ones died. We know what happens after death. Yeah. We know that's not the end of that spirit. Well, they think they have no understanding. You know, I'm never gonna see my, you know, my mother or my child again. Fuck them up. Yep. Hey, and that's there's judgment because the Lord knows how to get to you. Yep. The Lord knows how to get a person, man. So if you really love your, your children or, or your father or your brother, Lord can have, have it where you witness your, your, your children die right in front of you. You have no power in your in your might to do anything about it, man. You can't protect your little loved ones. All right. That's why a lot of people are gonna be are gonna be are gonna be are gonna be mourning. All right. They're gonna bug the fuck out, man. They're gonna bug it. They're gonna lose their motherfucking mind, man. <laughs> sure. And it's gonna be amazing, man. Fuck you, people, man. Yeah, man. Fuck. They think they so. They got. They, they think they got it made, man. They think the Lord ain't controlling nothing. They ain't control their own destiny. All right. Got that free will spirit. Hey, I got, I got a good now let that brother finish that one. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Let that brother finish that one. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Have abundance, man. See that? See that? We're gonna be merry and we're gonna have abundance, man. And now, now. We don't know how it's gonna happen. Yeah, but we, we know it's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. The scriptures say, man. Yeah. You know. Sure. What? And we're gonna think of them scriptures in that time. Damn. We're gonna be like, man, the scriptures say we're gonna be married and have abundance, man. We're gonna laugh. <laughs> praise the Lord. Yeah. You know, you never know, man. Shit, don't let you get that power. You really gonna be uh uh, uh married, man. Yeah. Yep. Keep going, our brothers more. Go. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee. Save the Lord. Look at that, man. They gonna envy us, man. But they ain't gonna be able to do nothing against us, man. Because the Lord is backing us, man. Go ahead. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. So even the Lord's gonna cover our children, man. You know, did he not cover uh, uh, Noah's family? Did he not cover Lot's family? You know? And that's our hope, you know, hey, he even don't bug out if you lose your children, you know? Even for Lot, uh, the angel told him, do you have any other family members in this house? So he went to his son's, sons in law right? Uh, and what, and what, what ended up happening? They didn't want, they didn't want to believe, they mocked. So did Lot have time to worry about them and to mourn for them? No, he had to get up out of there because destruction was getting ready to happen, man. Yeah. So this applies to us, we can't worry about our family members on this side. You can tell them, you can warn them, but if they don't want to hear it, let it, let it be. All right, you'll see them again in the kingdom. All right, you you be in your throne, and you you'll know. And then when we're going over the stories, they're gonna remember. Damn, you know you were telling me this, but I didn't believe. And they're gonna be so ashamed to the point where they can't they can't um look look at you in the eye, man. They're gonna be ashamed of the things 
that they uh, that they have done, and, I, and that goes for all of this, bro. That didn't take heat to this board. Yeah, yeah, it's just good to say. Go ahead. I don't know. Man. Yeah, just sad on like the brother saying. Uh, intimacy he says that no man that war can attack himself, but the president is not, man. You can't be overly attached to the military. Yeah, fuck these people. Yeah. You know that that'll be your death, man, if you uh, continue to follow him. I was gonna say, uh, backing you up, bro. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. Because they're gonna try to, you know, find a way to contact you, but nah, they, they can't. Be, you know, they can't. They can't find you. They can't call you. Yeah. Phone systems gonna be out. Especially if there's a power outage, man. All right, they can't get you because there will be chaos. So, so, so there will be so much chaos out in the streets. They can't travel to you, man. Yeah, man. You know? The Lord is gonna be desired in those days, man. Yeah. You're gonna be the only ones that the Lord is taking care of. You know, and that's gonna be known. It's gonna be evident. Then shall you know who yeah. am I chosen? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, anybody got anything? I had that, uh, that, that Genesis being quoted. Maybe what's for son in laws? It's uh, Genesis 19 and uh, 12. And the men, which are angels, said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides? It says, uh, Son in law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place. Because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. Just like we're saying now. You know? Spiritually, depart from this place. The Lord about to rock this world with nukes, man. Let's cross street four, man. It says, Get you out of this place. For the Lord will destroy the city, but he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. That's Jake. You know, your family members, they'll, they'll scoff you, they'll mock you, because they, they'll think you're crazy because huh? they know you. And all of a sudden you became, you became, you know, knowing a Bible expert, the Bible expert became a preacher, you know, not understanding the, how the Lord changes you, become that old man and become a new man. Put off that old man and become a new man. They don't understand it. They still see you as the old man. Yeah. You know. So when you tell them about what's coming, they're gonna scoff at you. You know. They know. It's, they know it's things that you stop doing, like eating pork. You know, they may you used to smoke weed. They, they notice that you stop smoking weed and all that. And they see the they see the change, but they still don't want to believe the words that you're telling them. Man. They still want to take heed to the warning. They scoff, just like a uh, lot son-in-law, man. So. At the end of the day, what's gonna happen? They're gonna, if, they, if they don't get right with the Lord, all right, they're gonna, be, they're gonna, they're gonna, be, they're gonna die here, man. Perish, man. They're gonna die here. It's gonna be on them. All right, you gotta put off that mortal thought and worry about your own salvation. It's good to speak about working on your own salvation. You can't be constantly worrying about your loved ones, like your father, your mother, uh, your brothers, and all go, that. Let them go, man. Let them go, man. You see them again. You gotta believe that. Like I always say, you gotta forget about Jake, man. They ain't serving the Lord. Forget about him. You see him on the other side. So, right. It's the book of John, chapter 15 and 19. It says, If ye, ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, and your family members are still in the world. That's why, you know, in certain cases, you may not be cool with your brother, your family members, man. Because of this truth. You know, they may not like it that you're out here preaching the downfall of your Alright? Go ahead. Yeah, you try to keep the peace as much as possible. But if there's always contention there, then they so be it. Yeah. It says, But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right, and I can't even include your family members. But like it says in Psalms 27 and 10, when, when your mother and father forsakes you, then the Lord will take you up. Alright, so there may be times where if you have brothers that had instances where that be kicked the they got kicked out of the house because of this truth, man. But the Lord never forsook them. All right, the Lord was always with them. All right, and this, and this is what you gotta count. You gotta count the cost that things like this may happen. Uh, it says a soldier is not a affair to take himself with his life. In war, you can't worry about your loved ones. You gotta focus on, on the war path. And yeah. we're on a war path. You can't worry about your loved ones because that's what gets you killed. Yeah, be for that scripture that says, endure hardness as a good soldier, that's a part of that hardness, man. Yeah. That nobody really gonna believe, man. Only a few. 
Right, you gotta be fit, man. Done. Your mama ain't gonna, your mama ain't gonna be called, man. <laughs> forget about your mama, man. Honor her, but forget about her, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to say, you gotta be the bigger person, man. If your parents aren't with you, and they'll, they disrespect you, you can't disrespect them, man. You gotta honor your father yeah. and your mother at all times, man. Yeah, Even but, if they but forsake you. You can give them distance, though. Give them distance, yeah. You can give, give other people distance, man. Don't fuck with them, man. Yeah. You know, because the Lord can bring judgment upon the wicked at any time, man. I got one though. This is uh first Peter 4 and uh 3. It says, for the time past of our life, but it says, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walk in lasciviousness, lust, access of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. That's the old man. When we were worldly. Wherein they think it strange that you were not with them to the same access of right, speaking evil of you. So now you ain't celebrating Christmas. Yep, you ain't birthdays. celebrating birthdays. You ain't trying to be Mother's around Day. them. Now they're gonna speak evil of you, man. Yep. And that's a, that's an early trial in the faith. Okay, can you handle that, man? You know, that's why it's it's a it's a lonely walk, man. Yeah. You, you got the you got the brotherhood. But it's ultimately a lonely walk. You're really gonna be alone most of the time, man. Yeah. Even if you're in a house with a wife and children, you're still alone, man. You um, you may have a family member's birthday coming up, but you don't say happy birthday because you don't celebrate that they shit. They get offended. And they get, they, get, they look at you sideways. They don't want to fuck with you. You, you know? don't want to go to no funerals or, or no parties, you know, you know? marriages. And shit I ain't like going that. to no damn funeral, man. You gotta be fucked up. You know. Yeah, I believe my family members told me they used to like it when I used to get haircuts and that gold. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh yeah, they may uh, even uh, you know get mad or look at you sideways when you're growing out your beard. They tell you shit like, cut, shave, shave it off. You know, what you going at? You know? I look like a robber. Look like a who? A robber. Uh, uh, what's up? That's also a uh, spot that scripture uh, fellowship with them. Yeah, I know I got fellowship with them. Light, what, what fellowship does light have with darkness? Yeah, there you go, exactly. Yeah. You know? You know, that's gonna end up corrupting you like the brother saying, you know, bring back old habits. You know, that uh that they dormant. Alright. I got one. This is uh Sirach 72. Depart from the unjust and iniquity shall turn away from you. Or from thee. You know, depart from the, from the wicked, the unjust, man. I got another one. This is uh, Sirach 6 and 13. Separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. The you enemies know? are the world. Uh, people of the world, friends of the world. Your old families could be, a, could be your enemies. And you got to part from them, man. You know, you may not be as close to your family members as you used to be when you're in this street. All right, because like the brother says, they're they're in the darkness. All right, no fellowship with darkness. Uh, light, no, no, light, light cannot no, 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 no. fellowship with darkness, man. Yeah. All right, we cannot fellowship and be all into this world like uh, like we used to be. Yeah, there are a bunch of yeah. 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 It's uh, Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Yes, you gotta depart from this world, man. Depart from your family. Depart from the two thirds, because it is polluted, man. They're all polluted with the ways of this world, man. It will surely destroy you, like the brother said. It will cause you to go back into your old ways, man. Because these people, they will influence you, you know. So you just gotta depart from them and just do away with them, man, to the best of your ability, you know. why we die because wages of sin is death yeah. all right by us not keeping his laws the lord certain laws there's laws that are that make you unclean there's laws that are you know 
that are haunted death. All right, and not keeping these laws bring bring uh bring death. Not keeping the Lord's laws brings death, man. All right. What's up, Rule Four and One? This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, right. but such as leave it shall die. Beautiful. That's a beautiful precept. So all this that keep it shall come to life. And that's what our forefathers didn't do. They didn't keep these laws. And this is why we're in the predicament that we are in today, man. Because yeah. we did not obey the Lord's words, man. Because on the, on the way to the promised land, the Lord told us to kick out all, to kill basically all heathens. Yeah. To kick them all out. To get rid of them. Kick them all out. And don't don't uh, do what they do, man. Right. Because it's going to become a snare. And our people didn't take heed to that. All right? All right, all right. Go in and possess the land which the Lord, which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Right, because he, because he told our, our, our forefathers like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he was gonna give us the land. And that land is what Israel. All right, the land, milk and honey. Land that's filled with milk and honey, man. All right, but in order for us to stay in that land, we had to obey the laws. All right, obey, obey the Lord's laws, man, which our people didn't do. Because those heathens that were before our land, all right, they, when, when we didn't kick them all out, when our people didn't kick all, them all out, they came to snare onto us. When we started worshiping our gods, sacrificing our kids to their gods, doing all sorts of abominations, man. All right, and this is the reason why we are scattered throughout the world. All right? Go ahead. It says, And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee. Right, didn't the scripture say uh, before honor is humility? Uh, we have to go through that humility to receive that honor. Just like right now, we have to be humble. Being humble right now in order to be honored in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Go ahead. And to prove thee. Right, and this is what the Lord's doing now. He's proving us, he's testing us. He's putting us through that fire, all right? Because according again, in order to make it to the kingdom, you have to go through great tribulation. You have to be put to the. You have to be put through the fire, man. All right, but if you're the elect, you're gonna go through that fire. You're gonna endure it. You're gonna endure the chastisement, man. All right. Go ahead. To know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Verse three. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. That's how you know, man. When you met with certain trials. It ain't that the Lord can't, you know, get you out right away. It's to test your integrity, test your, your, your strength, your patience. your patience, man. You know, like the Lord, when the Lord sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh, he could have got us out of there right then and there. Yeah, but but not, it's a process, man. You know? It's a process to get to the kingdom of heaven. You just got to endure the process, and while you're doing the process, you got to have a vision that will help you endure the process. All right? And trust in the Lord, man. It's good to say Psalm 62 and 10. Trust in him at all times. At even all at, times, man. Even at your lowest point. Right. Even when you, even if you feel forsaken. Yeah, I was shy. I felt like that. I felt, I felt the power of evil, man. And that's why he said, uh, Eli. Father, Eli, Eli, Father, Father, was strengthened. Uh, father, Father, why I was forsaken. He felt that power leave off of him. All right? Took on the whole sins of Israel, man. And his father couldn't look at him, man, because he had, because he had, he took on the whole sins of his man. Yeah. He was so stressed out that he was actually sweating blood. And doctors, they proved that it could actually happen. That's a real condition. Right. You know? and that's, that's how stressed out he was. You know? He was actually sweating blood, man. He was so weak that the angels had to give him strength. So, hey, there's no excuse. The Lord said, endure to the end. The same shall be saved. And fed thee with manna which thou knewest not, did, neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone only, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. Yeah, and, and that's what uh, Yahweh shot told Satan, man. You know, when Satan tried to uh, tempt him, he said, man shall not live off bread alone. Uh, but we live off these words, knowing that whatever the Lord said is going to happen. 
just gotta believe, okay? Uh, did you get a uh, numbers five? Yeah, it's cool about uh, the mana. What? Uh, numbers five, I think it's a. Uh, Jakes that were born in the wilderness, all they knew was the wilderness life. You know, it wasn't a comfortable lifestyle. You know, and, and you know they weren't. You know, it, it wasn't. You know, they were hungry. They were thirsty. They were in a that hot ass desert, man. All right. Go ahead. Let's look, bro. It says, and when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and His anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them. It consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. Right, because our people were murmuring, complaining. All right, they wanted to go back to Egypt, man. And the things that the, the, the Lord heard that was being said in the tents angered him. That's why he burnt them up. Go ahead. And that's why, too, that the Lord killed that whole generation that came out of uh, the land of Egypt, man. Right. It was over 600,000 that, that walked, you know, out of Egypt. Only two made it to the promised land. Y'all probably know which two? Moses. Now, Moses didn't get to make it, man. Yeah. Moses didn't get to make it because when he when he uh hit the, when he smote the rock, he took credit for that, so to speak. You know? Yeah. And Aaron didn't get to make it because he was he was taking part in that, that golden uh that calf. So guess who who were the two that made it? Joshua and Caleb, man. Joshua and Caleb, man. You know? Only two. Only two. Only two. Yeah, right before they got to the land, the Lord told Moses, you ain't gonna be able to make it, man. Yeah. But he, you know, that's when he was uh, 120. You know, his life was basically in, in 40s. You know, Lord, uh, well, yeah, his life was in 40s. You know, 40 years, uh, at 40 years this happened, at 80 years this happened. You know, and at 120 he was gone, you know. But Joshua stepped up. We had uh, Joshua and Caleb and the young generation that came of the world. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. That made it into the promise. And they had to get circumcised. That's right. Yeah, he circumcised everybody. He brought him in there. Everybody must be circumcised. You get which other man that awarded? Showing, showing you that that, that, that generation was wicked. Yeah. Because they were supposed to circumcise in the eighth day. Yeah. You know? You got something to say? It says, it says, and the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of that place Taborah, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're lusting after the things of Egypt. They're remembering. Things that they were doing in Egypt. And you were in bondage the whole fucking time in yeah. uh, 400 years in Egypt, man. And, and that's like Jake now, man. Jake, you're, you're still in slavery, you're not free. No matter how fit, how free you think you are, you're still in slavery, you're still in bondage, man. And our people, like they did, like back then, they wanted to go back to Egypt. And today, our people want to stay here in modern day Egypt, yep. which is America. They don't want to leave this place. That's, this, this is why the scripture says, um, uh, you read it earlier, Micah 2 and 10, flee, depart. Yeah, depart. But this is not your rest. Now, this is talking about, about fleeing the part, buying a ticket, and, and leaving, going going to another continent, another state, another country. No, it's fleeing the part from your mind. All right? Mentally, spiritually. Right. You know? Which goes back to the like holy, you know, separate people, you know? It says, We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers, the melons, uh, Jake's crazy, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all beside the manna be 
for us. No, they were being ungrateful because here it is. You're Man. still eating, but you're still complaining. Complaining. At least you're eating. That's crazy. Uh, and we can't, and the reason why we're bringing this out is we can't be like this in the days to come. Yeah. Uh, you got, we got to be a door harness is a good soldier. We're not going to be comfortable. We're not going to be sleeping on our beds. There's some nights that, uh, before I go to sleep, I'm like, man, I ain't gonna sleep on this bed anymore. You know? Like, you're gonna be sleeping on, on the floor. Two of them, you're not gonna be carrying a goddamn bed with you. You know, you're gonna be carrying what you can carry. Whether that's a blanket, you have a blanket, maybe more pillow. You may have to use your hand, man. You have to just go through that, endure, endure that, man. So our Lord, you have a That's All why right? I said part two, to be content, man. You know, be thankful for what you have, man, because you here it is. Not a lot. Yeah, here it is. They're complaining, but yet you got chariot over. Yeah. Yet you got you just got delivered out of Egypt, man. It might have been two decades ago. You know, you hear about you know our people walking out how the Lord delivered us out of Egypt. You know, I'm, I'm putting myself in that way in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? Might have been two decades ago, you know. But um, you know our people weren't content. They weren't thankful, man. They didn't appreciate. Yahweh outside the things that the Lord was doing, man. They didn't even appreciate Moses, man. Yeah, they, they, they set up, my bro. They set up, trying to set up captives to, to go back to Egypt. You know? And Paul said it best, when food and raiment be content. Be there with, be content, man. So, as long as you have clothes in your back, shoes. Cause, hey, in that day, it would be crazy. A motherfucker would be out here, no goddamn shoes. You know the thing, you know, you know the scriptures say, I'm sorry, bro. No, no, you know the scriptures say that Although our people were walking in a circle in the wilderness, their shoes didn't oh. get messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Their oh. shoes didn't get old, man. Oh, their wait. clothes didn't get old, yeah, man. Think, uh, Come on, man. It's in the right? Nah, that's in the, uh, that's like a number. Nah, that's good. Deuteronomy. Now, that's heavy when you think about that, man. Yeah, shit, good. how long is, how, what's the lifespan of some shoes, man? Shit. Yeah. Especially if you're wearing them every day, shit. That's why I give it a month, you know? Uh, wait. That scripture's at man, but that's, that's heavy, it. man. And the scriptures say too, but uh, when Moses and Joshua, I believe, or maybe just Joshua, that although he got in his old age, he still had his strength as a young man. You know, imagine that. <laughs> you know? So, hey, man. I got something real quick. I got so Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in the horsemen because they are very strong. But look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. So yeah, even going back to that time, and they suck. They went after Egypt, man. They wanted to go back to the pleasures of Egypt. And in this time, our people are relying on this government, man. This that Egyptian stock captivity stock right now, yeah. you know? It's that Stockholm syndrome, man. You're not going to put that, their faith in the, in, the, in the Lord. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. That's that uh, Caesar is our king mentality, man. But no, the Lord is our king, man. That's why Joshua said, choose ye this day whom you will serve, man. You know? You know. I'm looking for that scripture. You got it, bro? You got it? Go ahead and read it, bro. You're on the 29 to 5, man. That's beautiful, bro. That's a, I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Start at four, bro. Yet the Lord, Yahweh, have not given you a heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear to this day. And I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxing old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxing old upon thy foot. Now look at that, man. Tell me that's not amazing, man. Come on, man. Yeah. I remember when I was young, I had holes in my shoes, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Going to school with holes in my shoes. Like, goddamn. But they walking around in the wilderness. The wilderness is rough. Yep. But you, your shoes didn't wax old on you, and your clothing didn't wax old on you, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We can't ask for no, we can't ask for more, man. Our Lord has been good to us, man. I swear the Lord and, and, and Jeremiah, he's pleading with our people. Isaiah, too. What, what, where did I go wrong with you? You know, basically, where did I go wrong with y'all, man? What did I do wrong? You know, the Lord always had our back, man. This is what we need, but not what we want. Yeah, man. Uh, we get what we want in the kingdom of heaven. We just got to be, con be content with what we have right now. That's All the right? Test, man. Especially in these times, you know. I mean, you're going to lose a lot of things, but whatever you have on you, 
may have a scripture. That's all you need. Well, the scripture right here, man. Like the book of Eli we were talking about earlier. He had he had it in his mind, man. Yeah. All right. Can you read that again, bro? That's a powerful scripture, bro. Yeah. Yet the Lord Yahweh have not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. And guess what? Those jakes are back. And they're blind today. You know? Go ahead. To this day, and I have led you 40 years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxing old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxing old upon thy foot. That's amazing, man. That is amazing. Come on, man. Now, when did the Lord ever do that for you up there as heathens, man? The Lord never had y'all back. But, but, but that's, that's recorded in our history, man. You know? Man, that's, that's amazing. But yeah, you want me to keep going? Going back to Numbers 11 and 6. It says, but now our sorrows dried away. There is nothing at all beside this man, this manna before our eyes. And the manna was as coriander seed. So, when it dropped from the chariot, it didn't just drop as bread. It came as a seed, right? Go ahead. And the color thereof as the color of bread. Delium. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in mills. So so when it when it dropped from the sky on the ground it got the seed. And you know how you have a grinder to grind to grind like garlic or something? That's what that's what we did the grinder. Grinded it and formed it into waffles, pan, pancakes, bread and all that. Right. Yeah, like you ever like today, you ever been Roscoe's and chicken? Yeah. No, like, <laughs> chicken, you know chicken, man. Yeah, they, they have that uh they have that over here in uh in Culver City. Yeah. Every time I go there's a bunch of Jake. You know? Jake man, they love that that waffles and chicken. I know what you're talking about, bro. You're talking about right there by uh by La Brea. Yeah, that area. Right there by La Brea. Yeah. You also got one on Sunset. Roscoe. And you got one in Pasadena. Roscoe and chicken. Yeah. That's that's from Jake got a bunch of Jake in there because Jake used to eat that in the morning. Yeah, that quail. Well, and that manna, you got that, that manna you can, form, like, you can form it into a pancake, a waffle, a bread, you can eat it with the chicken. Fire. Yeah. But back then, Jake, before the coral rain, they were just eating manna. And they, they, were, they were so ungrateful, they got tired of just you know, eating the same thing. That's why they kept murmuring. They were like, man, in Egypt, man, I was eating all this food, and I'm all I'm eating is bread. They wanted to buffet. Yeah. yeah. That's why the scripture said, do all we ate? No. Uh, uh, we don't live off bread alone, no. but by every word of the hour by strong man. That's right. So it says, it says, and the people went about and gathered it and ground it in mills or beat it in a mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. Then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent and the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. It's like, damn, these motherfuckers ain't never satisfied, man. Like a woman, man. Never satisfied. You're still eating. You rather not eat? Yeah, man. No, man, I'm still stuck on that deliverance stuff. Yeah. Hey, hold up. Y'all want to talk about this deliverance stuff? Yeah. Look at that chair, man. That's why I need grace to come. You got to... Think upon the things that the Lord's done for you now, the signs that He's yeah, shown you, yeah, the prayers yeah. that He answered for you, the ways that He delivered you now, and even in those days, the miracles that He showed you, man. And don't forget what the Lord has done for you, man. I never forget. Even if it's two years ago, man. Think about these things that the Lord has done for you, man. Lord, help you. Oh, you. Don't forget it, man. I always think back, like, Ooh. damn, man, the Lord, I'll have conversations with you. Look at that, war time, man. Uh, yeah, I saw the missing. You don't see those every day, you know? That's how it's gonna sound when this shit go, man. With gunshots everywhere. I was gonna, I'd be having conversations with my woman. I'd be like, man, remember the Lord did this for us? Remember the Lord did that for us? You know? I always tell my woman, trust the Lord's timing, man. Trust his timing. It ain't that he can't deliver us right away. It's, he, he's, he's testing us, man. Patience, man. You gotta, you gotta wait for it, man. Jake back then wasn't like that, man. He wanted everything now.
Lord told him that, that you have to get through this book so you get to the test. Just make it to the promised land filled with money. Fill all sorts of riches waiting for you, man. Alright? And we have to go through this tribulation in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven, which we're going to get all the things we want, all the things we ever desired, plus some. What's that, uh, righteous, uh, I mean, the hand touches up more. I know you oh, know. Oh, Psalm 16. Nice. Nice verse. Psalm 16. That's uh, Psalm 16 and uh, 11. You know what? I'm going to start at 8. It says, I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. But thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Yep. Now, this is dealing with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai's body didn't decompose. You know? That's what it's talking about. You know? It says. <clears throat> Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Evermore. Right, just think about it. Most side, side is eternal. And he's forever. Okay? His creation is forever. So you can't put a limit to his creation. It's, look. Isaiah 6, the last one says, Little one should become a nation. That's just the work of Israel that's going to become. He's going to have children that's liking onto a nation. All right? How much more us? We can't all live on earth. All right? Yeah. We're going to have to move, move, uh, move, um, move in the other galaxies. All yeah, right? Jake, it's really, it ain't going to be the devil killing us every damn, killing yes. us, with, uh, weaponizing every goddamn thing, abortions and all that. Jake is going to be fruitful, man. Yeah. So we're going to need more space, man. We can have brothers living on different galaxies, different time zones, man. Living on the planet that Yahweh has given them. Alright? I don't know, uh, that yeah, fucking that little rapper, he's a musician, but he's trying to purchase one of the, uh, I forgot the planet, he's trying to purchase the planet. Yeah, right. He's in the talks of purchasing the planet. Purchase, purchase it from who? Yeah, he sort of own that shit. Yeah, purchase it from who, man? Oh, Get the fuck out of here, man. I bet you that nigga don't even own a house. Talking about purchasing the planet. Get your, ain't that the same retarded nigga that yeah, so called? Yeah. Fuck out of here, man. Well, this planet is all for us. Yeah, it says, uh, Sirach 16 and 21. It says, It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most parts of his works are dead. So every day is going to be a new adventure in the kingdom, man. Yeah, we, uh, we've know? seen just a spark. Uh, just a little bit. Just a spark, something, something. Man. See, all we, all we know is captivity, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we get to go out to certain areas, you know, California, wherever state you live. A lot of parks, a lot of brothers like to go yeah, to. Yeah, man. Visit. I mean, just like just seeing those parks that we see is just it's amazing within itself. Yeah. It's beautiful, but that's just it's not, it's nothing compared to what we want to get. We want to see things, new colors, new smells, new smells, new at man, new sounds, oh, man. You know, new instruments, man. I can only imagine. Woo. I can vision. I just can't wait. That's why. That's why. You gotta envision these things. You gotta have yeah. vision. Just, at yeah, a time, sit, sit, sit down and just vision these things. Yeah. Because these visions will help you get through the process of getting to that kingdom. Yeah. To get there, right. That's right, bro. All right. You gotta have first. You gotta have faith. You gotta have vision. You gotta believe first and foremost. That's right. Uh, uh, what's that? Second Andrew seven. Grab that real quick, bro. Mm -hmm. Says and, 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 and the city is uh, full of all good things, man. And then you think about all the dreams brothers and sisters have about the kingdom, man. It's, it's you know, they, the way they explain it is that, you know, all our people are having smiles, man, and joy, and... Right, right now, like, you know, I this shit a lot, especially with Judah. Huh? Got Judah. It? I'm sorry, I got it. Well, uh, Judah, you pass by Jake, they look at you like you're fucking, like you're the enemy. You know, and all you want to do is just screw them. And, and, and all that, you know, when, when, when you're supposed to be, you know, show that brotherly love, but instead.